Okay, we're starting now. Hi. Uh, it's, just, it's been a day. It's been a day. I, I hope you're having a good one because uh, mine is... It's been a day. Oh, fuck. I didn't change the timers. I didn't change the timers. Fuck. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're having a better than a better day than the one I was having, because my God, that was a a shit show from the beginning. Uh, beans change. No, I said it was in English. I said it was in English. That did I mess up the title? No, the title says English. I said English plenty of times. Me answering in Spanish doesn't mean <laughs> that the, the stream language changes. Sorry, I have to put the fan. You, you had to make the, the penis joke again, huh? <laughs> but yeah, uh, today we have a special uh video because as you can see well video uh, we have a special stream because as you see we are going to be playing in a space with markiplier and space with markiplier is a a series of interactive videos that markiplier uh has made um we had heist with markiplier who kill markiplier and date with markiplier uh and now we're going to space my idea <laughs> was to do the other ones to do the previous ones but the problem is that doing the previous ones um the stream is only going to be like two hours long and i doubt we can probably speed run through the other ones but i doubt that we will have time to do all of them maybe on the weekend Maybe on the weekend I will I will stop and undo the other ones, just for completion's sake. Maybe because there will be more more people around. But okay, Ismael, uh... vete vete a descansar un poco. O sea, párate párate un poquito a pensar en en lo que escribes en los chats porque. Te hemos dado varios avisos de, de que de que no hagas bromas insultantes y, y lo único que has estado haciendo es bromas insultantes. No, no sé qué quieres que te diga. Um, but yeah, uh, we are getting right into it because we only have two hours. So. Uh, we're doing in a space uh, first now. Yeah. We're doing. We're going straight up to space. Uh, we're not doing date or we're not doing uh, heist because we only have two hours. Like on weekend, on the weekend, I might do all of them. But for now, I'm going to do a space, and Chad gets to choose. So. Okay, sorry, sorry to pause it. That -da 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 -da, that we just heard is the song that they made for Mark. The space is so cool, but made more, more movie like. It's it's exactly the melody of a space is so cool. I can't believe they did that. Also, I'm putting subtitles to make it more easy. to the stream, Javi. Oh, 
Holy you might want to fuck. Take a back there, yeah. They really oh, went sorry, fucking sorry. overboard with a... Uh, Huge fan. Huge fan of following your career. With a production value. Well now. Invisible Tower, this is Shuttle Marmota. Approaching Docking Bay 4. Closing the blast shields. Shuttle Marmota, you're cleared to dock. Yeah, copy you. <laughs> Truth be told, we couldn't afford to show that anyway. But uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. I... We can't afford to yeah. show that seriously. <laughs> We're gonna land in five. <laughs> Captain, uh, we're here early. I gotta say it's an honor. You know, I'm thinking maybe uh, we could hang out or something. Go get a co coffee, but you know, beer's cold. <laughs> Welcome aboard the. Uh, this is not an FMB game. Well, it's. Kind of an FMB game is a series of interactive videos. Like we are going to reach the the minute seven, and on minute seven we will be presented with a choice, and that choice will take us to another video. And uh, Mark has been doing this for years. Uh, he has like three more videos like this where you have to choose your own path until you reach one of the endings, and there's multiple endings, <laughs> so it's going to be cool. Also. M2702 is the Markiplier's referral code for um, his Tesla car. <laughs> and that is another fucking huge reference on, on the Mark fandom. Uh, I don't want to pause it all the time, so I will uh, I will pause it only when I want to talk to you. Glad to have you here. It took you long enough. But let me give you the grand tour before we embark. Is my Why is everyone enjoy. fucking that? My baby. Well, your baby, I guess now. But I made her, and a baby will always remember her. Father. My understand. Welcome aboard, Captain and Head Engineer. Prepare for sterilization. First stop, the warp core. The heart and soul of the ship. Still not 100% sure how it works, but you don't need to know how something works in order to use it. And when we found it again, it passed every safety test with flying colors. It's not gonna be like last time. Oh, no. This time, the Invincible <laughs> is finally gonna live up to her name. Every safety but test. Just in case, I built in a special precaution. If anything goes wrong, we can detonate these explosives and separate the warp core from the rest of the ship. I've yet to meet a problem that can't be solved with explosives. And speaking of explosives, the main reactor. That doesn't sound like safe, Mark. The power of a star to tear open a wormhole, so a star I built. Built like a tank, too. Captain? Bert. Hi, Bert. Yeah, it's Bert. He makes sure that the ship don't go boom. Next up is Cryo. Oh. Was that a dead... Th there was a dead guy there. ...stable and ready for transit. Systems are working at 110% too, which is a little weird, but overkill never hurts. Trust me. You do not want to be awake when the warp core hits the gas. I think I'm supposed to be asleep, but I don't think I am. <laughs> Cece. Asshat. Captain, all colonists are prepped and stable. 100,000 souls ready for a new life. Let's get them there safe. Oh, don't worry. Before they know it, they're going to... Have fun with the, the 3D printing. Planet with a fresh cup of coffee in their hands. Why don't you give them more windows to look through? Well, maybe I will. Maybe then someone might appreciate the aesthetics. Besides... I have the feeling these two were together like at some point. ADS is good to go. Don't worry, Cap. No asteroids getting by me. You can count on that. <laughs> Did you do the hybrid? So oh no, Captain, I'm falling. Catch me! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, then. <laughs> Navigation is online, Captain. Engines are looking good. Captain. Hey, my butt. Life support is online, unless it's not, and then we wouldn't know until we passed out. Seems fine. Everything is accounted for. We're ready to see our new home. All that's left now. Is for you to say the word. Try not to get them too excited, Captain. I know how your speeches can get people riled up. Can we talk first, Chica? We have Chica in here. The only important thing in here is Chica the dog. Chica in a spacesuit. Also, 
Can we talk about how the fuck did they yell O oh, to to the to the breach when they were behind us? How how did they get to the bridge? You know what? We're not going to question it. Warp call engaged. Um. Warp okay. opening in thirty seconds. All personnel report to your assigned crime pod. Oh, it's all right, Captain. I, ooh, I'm sure you'll make a great speech once we get there. My my alcohol. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it's not a problem, of course. But just before you go to sleep, be absolutely sure. Do not. Wormhole opening in ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, error. Well, that's reassuring. A software update is available. Would you like to restart to apply this update? Um, I'm sorry, I have to play something. <laughs> because that was... Uh... Dr. Chen, recalculate the new thruster data and relay it to Blue Oyster. Fuck Microsoft! Okay. Fuck! Yeah, fuck Microsoft. <laughs> An update seriously in there in the last fucking second. <laughs> Don't give up. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is on route. Current ship state is in absolutely catastrophic. Initializing emergency wakey wakey protocol. Reviving head engineer. Revive it? And there goes Mark. That was fast. Fire on the bridge. Life support system is failing. Automatic fire suppression system offline. Error. Fail safes offline. Okay, we have to choose. He kind of sounds like the 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 Five Nights at Freddy's guy. Yeah, we have to choose. Do we fix life support or do we put out the fire? I'll give you a second to to catch up and choose. I'm assuming that is put out the fire. <laughs> Fire on one, fire on two, we put out the fire. Alert, fire extinguished. Warning, oxygen levels dropping to unsafe levels. Oh, well. We are going to suffocate. Cool. Did Nea just kill us on the first ten minutes? Nea, you killed us. <laughs> Oh, huh. you are supposed to die there. Interesting. Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. I'm guessing if you choose the the other one, you also die, but because of the fire.
Like I'm guessing you are supposed to loop and die there. Captain, what the hell is going on? And now that we have two people, we can actually do the thing. Do not open the door. Don't... Uh, wake the captain? Do not open the door. Do not wake the captain. Follow the arrow. The times, the amount of times that we have gone through the loop. Breathe in my air. Sleepy. Sleepy something? Sleepy head? What the fuck? Huh. Oxygen levels rising. Interesting. Oh, Captain, there you are. I got life support back online. I still don't know what the hell is happening, but we seem to have this situation all. Okay, smile. Goodbye. St sorry you didn't have fun on the channel. Computer, activate the asteroid defense system. Analyzing. No. What do you mean no? People really like to be assholes on the internet, huh? Yes, offline. Why? Offline. Computer, what is wrong? Offline. Computer, what's wrong with the ADS? ADS is offline. This doesn't make any sense. We got asteroids hitting the ship, but our guns aren't shooting them down. What? Thankfully, uh, there's still guns, so, you know, we should just be able to point and shoot. The asteroid defense system is... Oh, no, Mark, you're dead. <laughs> well, that's new. Something's gone wrong with the computer. Yeah, the that is not normal. Attack the crew. I programmed that myself. All right, I know that's not a guarantee, but something's clearly changed. We gotta fix ADS, or we're gonna get blasted to bits. Just like old times, eh, Captain? Pretty much exactly like old times, actually. <laughs> this is what happened to the first invincible. But they didn't have you. Is this what they happened to the first invincible? That big brain of yours. See the wheels turning. You've faced the odds and beaten them a thousand times before. This is gonna be a cakewalk. I'm practically salivating at the thoughts of how you're gonna save us. Come on, tell me. Okay, three options. Fuck. God damn it, Mark, don't make them so short. We have three options. We send Mark in. <laughs> he will probably get blasted by the turrets. We wake the rest of the crew. Or we fix it from the outside. I don't see how that works. <laughs> we wake the crew. One vote for waking the crew. Since Nea is the only one in chat, we are waking the crew. Got a plan, Captain? Oh yeah, good idea. Gunther should be able to handle this. The guy in charge of the guns is called Gunther? Seriously, Mark? Yes, sir, I can. Also, where did you come from? Problem on your hands, Captain. Well, I've been through hundreds of battles, fought through hundreds of traps. Why do you have a you a, a Nerf Glock? Ain't gonna get the that that is not a laser gun. Do my best if you think I'm the right person for the job. Well, not my first choice, but the captain is the captain. So, Mrs. Whitaker, we need you to get in oh, the no, asteroid. No. I'm not married anymore, young man. Care for a cookie? Sure. Would love one. Appreciate it. Did Ms. they? Whitaker, we need you to did the, the game just fuck us and change, change the character we choose? When the captain tells you to do something, you best well get it done. I always say. And there's no problem. A plate of cookies can't solve. Well, Miss Whitaker, I'm so sorry. Hello, Mary. Care for a cookie? Bye, Grandma. Oh no! Oh, Mark, don't eat the good Mark. No. Object on collision course with ship. 
brace for impact. Software update complete. There is a shit ton of glitching on this one. I really like it. Is this... Okay, okay, I'm calling this right now. I'm calling this right now. We are on a simulation. All this, all this that is happening is inside of a simulation. Because the amount of glitching that we are experiencing is not normal. Job done, Captain. We did it. What did we do? Asteroid defense system online. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How did we get here? Warning. Could a leak in cryo. Oh, can we move? How did you fix that? Uh, okay. Well, Captain, I guess we gotta fix the problem. Do you remember what the problem was? Uh... Okay. Something about cryo not working for some reason. We have to choose. We fix it from the outside or we wake the crew again. <laughs> Last time we woke someone, the fucking ship killed them. Uh, so yeah, we are fixing it from the outside. <laughs> I don't think that was a good idea now. <laughs> you killed us again. <laughs> good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. The current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Captain, did we make it? I love how we carry Mark with the fucking uh the the giant doll that he bought for <laughs> for Unusanos. Fire on the bridge. That is not a grenade. that is not how extinguishes work. That is fire extinguished. levels rising. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking love this. Do you know? First, that is a Nunus Anus clock. Uh, the, the watch that we're using is a Nunus Anus one. Second, I love how this feels exactly like playing Deathloop, but being on the 20th time you are playing Deathloop and you're just repeating the things. Like, constantly. Like, this felt like, like someone that has gone through 20 loops on that loop. The waiting? Oh. Alert. Colonist core temperature stabilizing. What? There. What? Do not question it. Warning. Reactor overload imminent. Now the reactor's gonna go kablooey. How many more things can go wrong on this ship? I'm guessing a lot. Let's move. Hurry. We need to move. Alert. Main reactor will achieve catastrophic kablooey in approximately one minute. Get my hand! Get the lead out! Seriously, Mark? There were coats this whole time? There was one coat. Damn! Ew! Captain! Warning! Venting plasma. Please. Warning, 30 seconds until catastrophic... Are you okay? 
Someone with extensive engineering expertise needs to enter this room. Don't. No. It's not fair. I've done my part. You wouldn't. We need an engineer there, and Mark is an engineer. Do we send Mark in again, or do we fix it from the outside? Again, which didn't really work last time. I vote for sending Mark in because it feels like this whole <laughs> this whole interactive video that he has that he made was meant to be played as just fuck with Mark. <laughs> Captain, please. No. No, no, you inside. It's too much. I can't do it. My, my hands are numb. I wouldn't be able to fix it even if I knew what the problem was, which I don't. I don't think anybody does. You understand, don't you, Captain? You understand, don't you? Is Mark an android? Wait, what was that? Mark demerits. Oh, you... Okay, 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 okay. So you are punishing him for cowardice, disobeying a direct order, poor odor and hygiene. So Mark is smelly. And crying, maybe crying. You understand, don't you? No, I'm opening the door. Oh, no. You're going inside. <laughs> Dying? Dying without permission, yeah. I shouldn't have doubted you. I was so cold from cryo, I didn't even feel the heat. And it thawed me out so evenly. I don't think I'm gonna lose any limbs to frostbite. You really do know what you're doing, don't you? I'm lucky to have you as my captain. And the ship should be in good enough shape that we can finally take a breath, look around, and figure out what the hell is actually happening here. <laughs> I think we're gonna be... Stop saying we're gonna we're be gonna fine. Be okay. Every you time you say it... The warp core? Warp core cannot be reached. Clarify. Warp core cannot be reached. Look, can you at least tell us if it's gonna blow up? No. No, it's not gonna blow up? No, no, he can tell no. you. Then what good are you, you stupid robot? <laughs> Alright, let's see what the deal is. Maybe we can figure out where we are. Computer, wake all crew leads and get them running diagnostics. Waking crew. Okay, at least that still works. Why didn't you do that sooner, though? I did it! It would have been so much easier to fix all the systems on the ship if the crew leads had been awake. Uh, whatever. The ship seems stable, for now. Don't know why I can't reach the warp core, but at least we can get to the bottom of this. I swear, if one more thing blows up on my ship, I'm gonna- I'm gonna lose it! What the hell is that?! Well, that's new! Um... Whoa. Oh, yeah, the explosives. Why not? What the hell's happening, Captain? Mark, look at this. This is your fault. I need you to go cryo. Check and make sure it's stable. The computer put this up on the main monitor. Captain, you're going to want to see this. My God. We're stuck in a goddamn wormhole. <laughs> all stress is redlining across all decks. It's holding for now, but I can't tell you how long that's gonna last. Captain, what do you say? About time? Yeah. Computer, activate the event horizon protocol! That's it? You tied explosives to that? No confirmation? It worked, didn't it? I'm gonna kill you. Don't Did it? Okay. Hey, we're gonna be drifting for a while without the warp core, but we're safe. I think the colonists are going to be okay. Nice to see you, Captain. With the Event Horizon Protocol activated, did we reach one the of the endings already? Was free from the effects of the wormhole and sent adrift into the vastness. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have a production value that is 
fucking massive and they did just move a PNG. Seriously, no, look at how we get out of the wormhole. It's literally moving the PNG of the ship. Like, you, you grab it with the mouse and you move it slowly. Principle 2 was free from the effects of the wormhole and sent adrift into the vastness of space in search of a new planet to colonize. What Specifically, the fuck? Mark is searching for it because he ordered him to. Not because he's the best at it. No, 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 no. He's definitely not the best, as his demerit record clearly shows. He's just the one your mind drifts to when something needs doing. Perhaps because you consider him to be a friend. Uh, probably not. Eventually, you do manage to find a planet, an action for which the crew thanks you dearly. Even if Mark was the one to make the discovery, you were the one to order said discovery, so you should take all the credit for ordering the discovery of the discovery. Which you do. Once the colony is established, you find that, despite his extensive list of demerits, you're always willing to give Mark a chance to prove himself by assigning him every task necessary to grow a thriving colony. Anytime a colonist needs their housing built, you pick Mark. Any time a dangerous jungle needs to be explored, you pick Mark. Any time an alien attack threatens your colony, you put Mark right on the front lines. And he's happy to do it. Sure, the colony would probably grow faster <laughs> if you didn't require that every single project and task wait for Mark to arrive, but it's the price of getting things done right. Or getting things done good enough, at least. He's the head engineer, after all. This pattern of dutiful obedience carries on for many years, until one night, you're struck with another problem that only Mark can solve. As you lay in your luxurious captain's bed, you find that you just can't seem to get comfortable. You ring the summoning bell that's been genetically coded to Mark to alert him of your need, as is customary for any discomfort you experience. You command him to bring you another pillow to ease your aching bones, weary from the arduous work in micromanagement. Is Only Mark going to kill us? Schedule for which you give him the proper demerits, Mark arrives, pillow gripped tightly. In Mark is going to kill us. You make the minimal effort required to gesture for his approach, and he does with a slightly more gleeful smile than usual. There's a certain twinkle in his eye that you haven't seen before, something that, if it were anyone else, you'd assume might be a hint of mischievousness. But Mark isn't the mischievous type. But unwarranted eye twinkling, you just can't abide. Can we talk about how the pillow is covered in Chica's hair? <laughs> like, this is 100% a pillow from Mark's place or that at least Chica has used because it's covered in the hair of Chica. <laughs> I love that detail. Bide, you pull up your tablet and scroll through the multitudes of demerits to find eye twinkling as Mark approaches with the pillow. His smile growing with every step. And to your complete lack of surprise, he somehow screws up the simple act of giving you a pillow. He put it on your head instead of under it. Surely there's a demerit for improper execution of locational prepositions. Captain. So ending? Go towards the light is the only option. Huh. So we died. And we got the, the only option which is going to the light. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Bug in cryo. Software update complete. Good morning, Captain. We are currently error years into our journey. Coffee is en route. Current ship status is absolutely catastrophic. Initializing an emergency wiki wiki protocol. I love that I'm going to wake up on the cryo chamber again, so why not fucking kill myself right away? 
Reviving head engineer. Captain. Does this feel good? <laughs> Did he just go through the entire fucking YMCA? Reviving head engineer. Captain. Does this feel Okay, we have caveman mark. We have a caveman? We have Mark with a bandana? Yep. <laughs> we have Mark there as a construction worker. I didn't need to see Mark in shorts. Is that Mark with a black suit? Okay, so it was the it was the construction worker. I was thinking that he went through the entire cast of the YMCA. Um but no, no, it was just a construction worker. Fire on the bridge. Fire extinguished. Life support systems failing. Oxygen levels rising. Asteroid defense system is offline. Asteroid defense system online. We're trying to reach whatever was the, the wormhole before it actually... Oh, wait, we don't have... These are not actually... Son of a bitch, these are not choices. You cannot click them. If you click them, you just advance the video because... It's we we are on minute one out of six. These are not choices, these are fake choices. Absolute fucking mad lad. Captain, wait! What the hell are you doing? What the hell is that? What the hell is happening? No more! No more. It ends here. I'm not gonna let you do it. I'm not gonna let you do it. You're gonna tell me what you did, you're gonna tell me, and then you are going to undo all of the damage that you have done. Huh, okay, look, um, lady, first of all, welcome to our ship, and I know it looks bad, but usually it's a lot better. Not you! You! Everything that you've destroyed, everyone that you have killed, you are going to undo everything right here, right now! Warning, reactor overload in five. <laughs> Well, we are in Doctor Who now. Whoa! Is that the fucking? Is is not the Tardis, but it is that door. They were clearly doing a Tardis thing. <laughs> also, hi, Jui. You you came in the perfect moment. This is video four out of all of them. I don't know what is going on, but yeah, hi. <laughs> uh, okay, well, it's gotta be one of these. So, I'll try that one over there. You get the big one. Cool. <laughs> oh, I hope you're having a nice Monday, Yui. How, how are you? Fuck. Requesting suitable host. Paradox detected. Requesting suitable scanning. Suitable host located. <laughs> okay, this is in a space with Markiplier. Markiplier, uh, YouTuber, if you don't know him, um, maybe? <laughs> It's it's hard to not know Markiplier if you are an internet person, um, but he's a YouTuber and he he already made like three more um, interactive videos where you choose the outcome of the video. Uh, this is the last one. This is uh, in a space with Markiplier, and this has been something. I know Mark. I was so confused. Yeah, no, I I am confused too because. We so far have become the captain of a ship called the Invincible 2, 
super reassuring that is the invisible two. Uh, also, the the ship immediately went into chaos. Mark died on the first video. We loop back around. Every time we die, we we wake up on the beginning again. Apparently, we are meeting an alien entity now. I don't know what is going on, but I like it. So up to now, our choices didn't really matter that much. Every time we made a choice, the the story kind of glitched and changed what we chose. I'm guessing that now that we have the crystal is when we can choose. Emergency wiki wiki protocol override acknowledged. Opening cryopod. Am I? Are you? Did I? Did you? Did we? <laughs> We're immortal! Or something like that. I distinctly remember falling through that door and then ending up in the center of a star. And then slowly feeling the flesh melt from my bones. Yeah, you shouldn't remember that. Alive. And you're alive! <laughs> and I remember. And you remember, right? This is incredible! Computer, activate the emergency repair protocol! Oopsie boopsie protocol engaged. Oopsie boopsie protocol. <laughs> System rebooted. Reviving crew. Backup systems engaged. Okay. Oh cool, uh, we survived. Computer, can you shut down the warp core? Negative. Warp core cannot be reached. Okay, so the wormhole's still a problem. And my emergency repair protocol can't shut it down from here. We need to get in the warp core somehow. But that shouldn't be a problem for two immortal gods like us. The way I see it, oh, we need to- Did you just call yourself a fucking god? Okay, it's it's getting to his head real fast. <laughs> Do is keep jumping in, and eventually we'll find the right door. We'll get to the warp core, shut it down, save the colonists, and then you and me can enjoy our newfound powers until they slowly drive us mad and turn us away from everything we know and love. <laughs> so what do you say? Come on, let's jump in again. What's the worst that could happen? We could die again, I guess. That wasn't that wasn't so bad. So choices, choices, choices. We can call an emergency meeting or we can jump in again. <laughs> and go with Mark Madness. <laughs> Just become an immortal god. <laughs> and lose our minds slowly. It's up to you, chat. Jumping again. One vote for jumping in again. We go in, we go in. <laughs> he that is yeah. doing this. We'll be at that warp core before you know it. I think we were pretty close last time too. So this time, I'll dash right, you dash. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we know how that went. Uh, okay. Uh, not quite what I expected. But now we know what not to do, so do we? what do you say? Let's jump in again. We almost had it last time. We'll definitely get it this time. Probably. Definitely. Probably. Do we jump in again or do we call an emergency meeting? Also, I love that the thumbnail is different for the emergency meeting. It wasn't like this on the previous video. <laughs> One boat for emergency, and one boat for jumping. Let's jump in again, why not? What What is the worst that could happen? 
Hell yeah! Shouldn't be long now before we're resting on the shores of our new home planet. We'll be heroes. First they'll give you a medal, then they'll give me a medal, then they'll give you a medal, then they'll give me a medal, then they'll give you a medal. They might give her a medal, then they'll give you a medal. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, okay. Not gonna lie. Oh, that was my bad. I kind of get distracted by all the pretty colors. But they do say that failure is the best teacher, so... Shall we go again? Oh my fucking on, god. Buddy. Friend, pal, amigo. Captain. Captain. Captain? <laughs> Best things comes in threes, yeah. <laughs> third time, uh, third times the charm. Do it, do it. Try again. Jumping again. We jumping again. <laughs> Hell yeah! I think we almost had it last time. It was pretty close there. I mean, you kind of screwed up, but I was doing great. So oh, I did screw up. Well. You Fucking just do something asshole. completely different so that it's better. <laughs> And we'll get there in no time and save all our people before they can say... Something tells me we have to call an emergency meeting. <laughs> uh, Captain? I'm not the type to assign blame, but uh, I can't help but feel like you could have tried a little harder. Like... Uh, I get that I'm the one to pull the most weight around here, but we could help each other out, you know? But it's okay. Why don't we try it again? We'll jump back in, and this time, we'll work together. We'll work together, like a team, like friends do. What do you say? <laughs> okay, just saying, just saying. Based on his reaction and that the video is 40 seconds, I don't think it's going to go well. <laughs> Seeing how long the video is going to be kind of makes you think about the reaction and what is going to happen. Meeting time, I think he's pissed. One for meeting, I both jumping again. <laughs> meeting? Cowards. Cowards. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. They deserve to know what's happening. And they might have some ideas on how to solve this. Probably not good ones, though. Oh my fucking god, they did. Captain, thank you for such an Mark. excellent and thorough explanation of the situation. The mark of a great leader. Always being open and honest with the crew. Never holding anything back. Sweetest things turn sourest by their deeds. A lily that festers smells far worse than weeds. What? Uh, bottom line is, we need to get to the warp core and shut it down. It's having effects that I never could have predicted. <laughs> The captain and I, we've tried some things, but we need fresh ideas. Yeah. Have you tried blowing it up? Obviously they've tried blowing it up. Look who you're working with! Uh, no, we haven't! But that is a good idea. No, we have! We you did try blowing it up. You could actually cause a false vacuum collapse. Well, no, we wouldn't, and also that's impossible. I what think. if we back the ship up into the wormhole? What if we pop her in reverse and just undo all the wormhole? Stuff. Okay, Mark, I owe you an apology because obviously you're not the stupidest person on this ship. Thank you. Hey, Captain. No, 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 no. Stuff. That sounds like a good idea, Clearly, actually. We need to send out a distress signal because he sounded high, but I think he got it. Ship. You know, now that she mentions it, some of the damage on the ship did seem intentional. I think someone needs to go over every inch of this ship and do some rap. Yeah, no, 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 no,
What do you say, Cap? What's the plan? How are we getting out of this? I'm almost sure. I'm almost sure that the answer is popping in reverse. <laughs> But again, it's up to you, Chad. One vote for reverse. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Captain. No, you can't possibly think about. Hey, Why are you giving us kids like this is a truck? This is not. The captain knows what they're doing, don't you, Captain? I'm sorry, I feel like I'm crazy. We're all gonna die. Oh my God. Are we the once in your life to step back? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. First, there wasn't a fucking um uh, shifter thing here. The the gear shifter. There wasn't one. Also, there wasn't a wheel. <laughs> This is all new. <laughs> you got this, Captain. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> You're good. Uh, well. Another day, another crisis. Why is everything on black and white? Uh, something, something include items about free online books as well as other something, something started the blog about the same time as I discontinued the something, something mailing list, mailing list for announcing and discussing something, something books related issues, mailing a list of discussions of free something books continue in the successor list of book features. What the f fuck is this? Oh, the posts include items about free online books. Okay? Yes. Current ship status broken. Just like my marriage. Did we just go into a noir? version of this universe we have whiskey in our hand we're talking about a divorce we are narrating everything that we do i'm pretty sure we are on a noir version here i am again yep. back for another ride on the merry-go-round god damn it mark am i immortal am i some kind of god or was this just another cruel game leading you on with beautiful promises only to stab you in the back and leave you for dead. They used, again, the music that is sounding. Is Space is so cool, but in noir version. I love that they took the song, the fan song that they made so many years ago, and they just fucking used it as a soundtrack. That is so brilliant. Whatever it was, at least the company's nice. Yeah. Seems like that didn't work out so good for us, eh, Captain? <laughs> oh well. You can't win them all. All problems solved. Oh! Well, not all problems. Not the problem of my broken heart. Oh no. <laughs> Some problems can't be solved with a swing of the fist, no matter how strong you are. When the love of your life tears you to pieces, well, that's a wound that just won't heal. The kind of wounds that leads you down to... Mark, everything was fixed. The captain looked. Right everything was fixed. Those baby gray eyes, the kind of look that could kill, and the kind of looks that could kill to match. Maybe someday I'll work up the courage to ask them out on that date. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe someday I'll destroy the universe. So, Captain, got any other ideas to get us out of this mess, or uh, you're just happy to see me? I honestly thought this was going to be an ending. <laughs> this felt like an ending, but no, we are continuing. At this point, at this point, on the other interactive videos, we have already reached... We, we are one hour into this. One hour into it, at this point, 
on the other ones, we already had like three or four endings. So, yeah, choose. We can fight all weapons, or we can send the signal. But in Noir version, because we already had the send a distress signal, but not Noir. <laughs> Find distress. Sounds good, Captain. You always know the right move to make. It was a terrible idea. The worst I've heard yet. Sure, the captain was pretty, but they were clearly an idiot. All face and no brains <laughs> and no ways out of here. We were doomed. Mark, you're talking aloud. Damn. Dunzo. Dunyan ring. Signal's out, Captain. All that's left to do now is wait until... Something's coming, boss. It's terrible. It's horrible. Get yourself together and tell us what it is. Detecting an energy buildup from an unknown vessel. It's some kind of alien spaceship. <laughs> Oh. oh no! Hey, there's no need to be so hostile. Far be it for one to judge a new species on looks alone, but flying through a wormhole willingly, you're either reckless or stupid. Or I would say both. both. Yeah. Both? Both. Both? Both. Not the first time, buddy. And I'm sure that it won't be the last. Sure, I was scared. I was downright terrified. The urine soaking into my pants made me regret <laughs> not building a recycling system into the suits. But I kept my cool. Because when the chips are down, you play the hand you dealt. I'm I sure fucking that love this. <laughs> some way that we could resolve this amicably. <laughs> the repugnant odor only deepened Wog's disgust for what must be. The ugliest member of their species, and yet the leader. What can you just no, no. Eyes on a creature so handsome and or beautiful. Those eyes, they captivated Wog, glimmering like the great forests of Wog. Okay. Maybe there was hope for this species yet. We are hot on a galactic level, apparently. At least they didn't seem like a violent species. No, Mike, no, Wog no, no, dude, don't fuck. An attack on one walk was an attack on Mark? one walk, as the saying goes. And yet, part of Wog wanted them to attack Wog. Something in Wog's blood yearned for the primal satisfaction of savage destruction. Just like Wog's ancestors. Wog liked helping, but Wog also liked hurting. Okay, we dodged that bullet by a fucking second. Why do you have donuts? Okay. Sure, one was disappointed. One was downright devastated. Maybe something went wrong with Wong's translator. Maybe beautiful human think Wong ugly. Stupid. Stupid. Wong just glad Wong put their recycling system into Wong's helmet. I feel bad for Wong. We're here. These people help. Take this. If you want to, you don't have to. Wong understand. I feel really bad for Wong. Okay. Wong help. Wong help to help. Wog, always help you! Thanks, Wog. You appreciate it. I hope our paths cross... Okay. No, no, he doesn't like you. He likes us. My god. So that's what a human looks like. Just hideous. New species, huh? And they won't last a day. Thank you for visiting the Universal Stability Agency, the last line of defense between order and chaos. You got the wrong gal, see? I was frank, see? I didn't have nothing to do with that wormhole, see? Come on, you can't send me back there. You can't make me sing. I'll never sing. I want a lawyer. I have rights. Now there's something you don't see every day. 
eyes like fresh gray grass, hair like what first gray rain. What the hell is? Where did you get the and glass? What's <laughs> going light on? Of an unstable warp crystal. Oh yeah, my gut was telling me that they were something special, more special than that ugly one. That one makes my gut turn just looking at him. And my guts never steered me wrong before. Yeah, no, they need to go to Horny Jail. Yeah, you. Bit of a weird day, eh, hey, Captain? Well, well, well. Mark? <gasps> Lady Dimitrescu? The human. <laughs> what the fuck? So lost. So human. <laughs> That's a lot Why? of talk for someone outnumbered two to one. Who am I? I'd like to introduce you to my associate, Wug. <gasps> Wug, you betrayed us! How could you do this to us? After all we've been through. No! We never met! You sure? You look just like this guy. Before. That is racist. You think Wug? Guy Wug? You think all Wug look the same? No, 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 it's a different walk. If you're done insulting my associate, it's a different walk. We were being I'm a space have to racist. Ask you to drop your weapons and come with me. Not gonna happen. We haven't come all. Don't, don't, don't question it. No. Just, just go on don't with be it. Don't stupid. That's why you have to drop your weapons so we can help. We're the only ones who can. So you better surrender. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I love how this is also a reference to an old uh, video that Mark made with uh, Ethan and Tyler, where they where they are aiming guns at them, at, at each other all the time. This is this whole video, well, this whole interactive uh, experience is full of fucking references to all uh, Markiplier stuff. Uh, we have the signal. TM and throw down your weapons. And this is nuts. Yeah, this is fucking nuts. I really like it. I'm still surprised we haven't reached a fucking ending. So we either trust the new wog. And we throw down the weapons. Or we just give Mark the signal for something that we don't know what it is, but I'm assuming that is attacking. It's up to you. Throw down the weapons? One vote for throwing down the weapons. Throwing down the weapons in 10, 9, 8, 7, 7, 6, 5. Throwing down the weapons. 7! All your weapons. How many weapons do you have, Mark? You too, Captain. <laughs> I think we have five guns in our hands. <laughs> oh. They jump? Usually works. I've got it. One, two, three. Wug, well, you have to jump. Wug jump? She. Oh, this is a she work. Okay. I just have one question. I was assuming that what was a day, but how did you make the wormhole? Hey, whoa, easy lady. There's no need to be so. Oh. No, oh, we are back in this bullshit again. So you confess you are trying to destroy the universe. <laughs> maybe we are, maybe we aren't. What's to you? Well, actually, wait, no, we aren't. The only thing we're trying to destroy is ourselves, and once we're done doing that, oh, 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 we're getting the hell out of here. 
Oh, you really expect me to believe that you... No, don't, don't, don't question it. Dewey, don't question it. the largest, <laughs> most destructive wormhole the universe had ever seen. One that is growing larger by the second. And threatens to consume every universe ever. Ex no, excuse me. Ex fucking excuse me. Since we are on Noir Universe, the wormhole has a fucking Fedora? The, both the wormhole and the ship have a hat. Because we are on a Noir Universe and everyone wears a hat. I... I don't... What the fuck? <laughs> you shut it down. So there I was, caught between a rock and the universe's biggest wormhole. As terrifying as it sounded, I couldn't help but be proud of the thought that I, the greatest investigative engineer in all of history, had found the device that would create the largest wormhole the universe no, 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 had ever. No, 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 this is this is not something to be proud of. Hey, no listening in on my monologues. <laughs> it's against the rules. You barbaric idiots. You have no idea what you've done, and now the universe could just... Whoa, hey now, I ain't here to cause trouble. I just heard there was a bit of a wormhole-related issue that needed fixing, and I just... That, that, no, that, that was fast. Department, so... Where are you getting your glasses from? Okay, we'll hear you out. It was hideous, disgusting, twisted beyond words. The most revolting example of an alien you could possibly imagine. As if the ugliest phantom from my most depraved nightmares decided to put on way too much makeup and... Do you want my help or not? <sighs> also, Mark, where did you get the fucking glasses? <laughs> this here is a portable wormhole generator. It takes a lot of juice to tear holes in the universe. This gem you got in your palm here, oh, that there is a slice of something special. Why don't you go on and take care of your... Did we just get a second fucking power up? We got the gemstone in our hand and now we got a way of using the gemstone. Are we metroiding our way through this thing? What core problem and I'll just tag along and take a few of these crystals off your hand if you got them. <laughs> now what's in it for us? What's in it is that you don't get arrested and put in a box for the rest of forever. Still not convinced. It's a good thing I'm not asking you, ain't it? In my line ugly, of work, you see a lot of boot. stupid things. But in the galactic... <laughs> they are doing two monologues at the same time, and I love it, I hate it. Race right. to the bottom. These I don't have that damn rent, Mrs. Doherty. Else. Also, if you're using he uh, headphones, you can hear one on the right and another one on the left. Be that as it may. And me on both sides. Over this this tragedy of an alien standing in front of offer, you right now. We're probably already doomed. Oh. Back in the ship. You guys are flying around in this thing? Ah, uh, well, she's seen better days. Oh. Computer, where's the crew? Dead. The crew is dead. Uh, computer? So is offline. That's normal, right? That's just how your people build computers, right? Well, that's not... not how it's been in the past. Oh, the creature on the cryopod is still there. Your crew, do they need help? Well, they probably don't not need help. The captain can check on them. Go on. Yeah. Dude, just let the captain do it. Well, you're the captain. You're in charge of the crew and morale and speeches. Also, that is our cryopod, so that is us. That's not me, Captain. That's not me. Well, that's not me. The fuck? Morning, Captain. 
I just leave. Good? The mug says that's not me. <laughs> the mug says that's not me, and I fucking love it. <laughs> Do you know those moments where you're watching something and they they have a picture behind them and they are like, no, I'm not like that, and they do the exact same pose as they have in the picture that that felt exactly like that <laughs> you feeling good this is just how human ships are please tell me this is just how human ships are <laughs> well they're not not like this sometimes hey how's it going it's uh uh, one of your crew members, an important one, I, uh, forgot my keys in the bridge. Could you open the door for me? Uh, well, before we do that, can you tell us which crew member you are specifically? You know, it's not really important who I am. What's really important is that you need to open this door, and quick! <laughs> I've got a, uh, door. Surprise for you on the other side. White dog it's surprise? Dark. Wink, wink. Just think of this as the dark path to get to the, uh, the what core. God, just use the device and get us the hell out of here. Why are we standing around like morons? Just get the hell out of here. Hey, we still have to save the ship. Yeah, that you sounds really sus. How messed up your ship is. Don't insult her. She's got character. Yeah, I've got character. Just open up the door and see how much I've got. Do not open that door. Do not let anyone tell you how to do your job. Did Mark always have... I don't remember Mark having a school moon on the suit. I think this patch on the suit is new. I don't... I remember the Chica pin. I remember Mark having the ping of Chica, but the school moon? Huh. I'm pretty certain the suit changed. Also, we, we have to choose if we open the door or if we don't open it. One vote for opening the door? Huh. They really made this one confusing, huh? <laughs> the other ones were somewhat <laughs> readable, but I really don't know what is going on in this one. Fuck it, open it. What's the worst that can happen? If you say so, Captain. I trust your judgment. Most of the time. Why is this happening? No, really, why am I going along with this? Uh, the Captain kind of has that effect on people. You get used to it. Oh, and you let me open it? Uh, no, it opens on its own. Okay. Can we appreciate for a second how the production value of this thing is fucking massive? They, they are doing a lot of special effects and, and shit like that. And then we have clear plastic toys. From a from a fucking <laughs> from a fucking shop that, 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 that they probably bought this on Spirit Halloween. Like they probably went to Spirit Halloween and bought all the plastic weapons they could find. <laughs> but then we have the axe, which looks like a real axe, but everything else plastic fucking toys. <laughs> for it well we died Ooh, interesting the wormhole usually is blue but we Captain. went through a red one where are we Hi, Wog. Welcome back, Wog. We missed you. That's not Wog. That's not Wog. Seeing things, Captain. Wog's 
said you hungry? <laughs> okay. Oh. Walk. Hey. These uh, winds south like look really now. fast. Have you seen the door to our warp core? That went south really fucking fast. I feel like I feel like this one. What's here? I know the community already has a flowchart of how this all is connected. I'm not going to check it. I, I will keep jumping from one to another next time we play, because I will probably play again, uh, maybe on the weekend. And that was my bad. I'm sorry. But I didn't mention the last time that we saw each other that the musical is right down this way. You wouldn't want to miss it. It's great. There is a musical? Oh, so great. Even better than the last one, you know. And you're a favorite guy. Wink, wink. Okay, first, they keep, they keep hinting at Dark Plier. They said the Dark Path. They keep saying dark things, distorted voice, and they just said favorite guy making a return. They're obviously hinting at Darkiplier and, and the fandom knows that. Also, I really love that when the guy behind the door is talking, the door is shaking back and forth. Makes a return. You haven't visited him in a while, so better hurry up and open this door, you uh... You wouldn't want to miss it. Why don't you open the door? Please. It's up to you. It's up to you. Do we open the door? Do we follow the dark road? Do we follow the dark path to the core? Or do we just don't open the door? Also, this face that Mark is making is meme worthy. This fucking face is... Full meme. <laughs> I want to make a snapshot. I want to make a snapshot. But I know I'm going to find it on Tumblr. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but this face, this face is us. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> We've been killed multiple times. <laughs> okay. All right, Captain. I, uh... Trust your judgment. Stop letting me open doors. <laughs> hey, thanks for opening the door. Another jump scare. We are on the Noir place? We are on the Noir place. We are on the, the Universal uh, Balance shit office that we're wearing. But now there's like fucking cryptid pictures. Yeah, this got worse. Uh, no, I'm gonna say no to all this. Uh, we've seen this before and this clearly isn't the right place. Why don't we... Hi. Yeah, no, this got worse. This got really worse. Hello. So sorry to keep you waiting. Please follow me. I hate this. That's not me. Again, that's not me. I said, please. 
follow me. Okay, okay. You've been bad, Captain. Okay. You've let down your crew, your friends, and you don't even understand. Am I why. the only one surprisingly horny about this? Um, All of these people, <coughs> people trusted you with their lives. Gone. Gone. Forever. Forever. All because of you. Do you think that your mistakes don't have consequences? This is really fucked up. Uh, Captain? What just happened? I have no idea, Mark. Hey, listen, it's me again. I know this seems absolutely crazy, but literally right behind this door is the war core. It doesn't make me feel good. Kind of nice we have really different types now. <laughs> This is what you've been searching for. This is your big chance to stop all of this chaos. You've won. Also, it's not the lady it in herself is the situation. I I I find arousing really different things. Like especially horror. And that was one of them. <laughs> Let's go on. Open the door. Now I know that sounds like a trick and I know that you've been tricked already, but honestly, there's really no way that I could lie about this one. This is your destination. This is it. Just take a look, and there you are. What have you got to lose, Captain? What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Do we open another door? He made it worse. I don't think he can make it worse. <laughs> Not this time, Joey doesn't want it. No wants it. Let's open the door, why not? <laughs> I'm sorry, Yui. Uh Captain? This one is twelve minutes. I'm guessing this is an ending. Please, please be an ending. This one is twelve fucking minutes. That is probably the longest video that we have encountered. Also, this is the only door that we have opened. The other two doors? Open on their own. This one is the one that we open. Prepare for a jump scare because there is probably going to be a jump scare. Psst, Captain. That is not me. Oh my fucking god, the door saying that that is not me. <laughs> we reached the behind the scenes. We reached the behind the scenes. We broke it. We broke it. We broke the thing. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. There's the doll that we throw around. Okay. And the work core. Does a man have to wait for coffee? Five minutes? Because that's what I'm doing. That's what, amazingly, that's what I'm doing, and I can't believe that I'm doing that. Oh, finally. Oh, we Actor Mark is back and alive? Okay, for lore purposes, there is different different versions of Mark. One of them is Arthur Mark, who died on Who Kill Markiplier. This character, this guy in here is supposed to be dead but actor mark is alive for some reason and not wearing pants for some reason which one do i get any mini money the big one uh, anna uh, could i have a word please do you see this do you see all this i have one month of parole left and if i go out looking this ugly guess who's going back to prison uh huh. And well, we shift to the warp core. Made it. That took long enough. Come on, Captain. It's time to finally end this. That is, if that thing actually works. I guess I still have a lot left to learn about wormholes. I. I had my mouth open for like two minutes you do know straight. You use that thing, don't you? Unfortunately, they do. Well, there goes Mark. Oh, not again. Ow. This is my last chance. This is the last chance to save the universe. So I am begging you, give me 
The crystal. Hey, that's a nice bracelet you got there. Sure would be a shame if the computer activated the defense turrets. Sure would be a shame if uh, the computer inverted gravity. <laughs> would be terrible if the computer vented all the oxygen. Would be, that'd be bad. It'd be so bad. That'd be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want the same thing here, which is why it's important we test out the event horizon. <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. Oh, okay, well, that one. <laughs> that one. There will be no self-destructs. No. no defensive measures. No, no venting. Ow. Nothing. There will be nothing. Because I have fixed every system on this ship. Have you? I've overridden every insane and violent contingency that you Possibly ever have. It, why are there why are there so many self-destructs and just like one repair protocol? You wouldn't get it. <coughs> it's Mark. It's a human thing, yeah. No, 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 it's not. I speak both Spanish and English. Uh... Of your carelessness and how many universes have you destroyed? Uh, si quieres hablar en español, si te es más fácil hablar en español, puedes hacerlo, pero responder en inglés porque este directo es en inglés. Reckless, careless, idiotic monsters. These aren't second chances. Every mistake has cost the lives of people who have trusted you. The multiverse is littered with the with corpses. corpses? Of failures. Yep. So unless unless we can undo whatever it is you're about to do, then every living thing in existence will be snuffed out forever. Oh, we're not. We're not trying to hurt anybody. We're just trying to save our people. We... I I do streams Captain in both languages. That. Tomorrow will be in Spanish. Captain, you wouldn't let that happen, would you? I'm done being nice. Give me the crystal. Paradox detected. No. 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 Stop. No. 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 Okay. Uh, this is an interactive uh, movie. I I want to call it a movie because we've been watching this for an hour and a half. This is a straight up. This is a straight up a YouTube movie. Uh, holy fuck. Uh, but yeah, we choose the ending. We we reach the ending of a video and we jump to another one. Uh, this is an interactive video. Yeah, what I fucking hate and love everything about this. Oh, is the artifact? One question, and we will see this on the weekend. I'm almost certain that the artifact was on the museum on Heist with Markiplier. I'm almost certain that one of the museum exhibits was this alien artifact. And if Mark joined those two projects, which I'm pretty sure he did because it's Mark, that would be really fucking interesting. Hand me, you fiend! Oh, don't. Welcome back, Mark. Oh, look what you've done! Oh, what have you done? What you've done is fall right into my trap! Not as fast as I used to be, huh? Okay, this Mark doesn't have the moon thingy on the chest. So I'm guessing this is our Mark. This is the first mark that we meet and at some point on one of our multiversal jumps we met another mark that had a moon with a skull face but this one doesn't have it so i'm guessing this is the first mark
Okay. You win. Can I have my hand back? <laughs> he had both a hand and a knife. Oh, oh, please. Oh, please help me. I need help desperately. Friend of mine. Oh, close confidant. I, I, I missed our exchanges of conversation. That's it. Close, yeah. Gun? Did you throw sand on your own eyes? Did you throw sand on your own eyes? Mark! Mark! And then do it. I dare you to do it! Whatever you do, do not do it! Captain, I can't let you win. This is the final confrontation. Good versus evil. The hero versus the villain. Justice will prevail this day! But first, I need to test out the event horizon. Don't test it! No! The hand. Bye. Also, the bye bye is exactly the bye bye from the videos. The way he says bye. Well, he used to say bye at the end of every video. The oh, the references. Sure. The only way to truly fix the problem once and for all. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Well, when you've tried everything else, there's really only one more thing left to try. Be advised, designated location outside known universe. I know. I'm out of coffee. Why am I trying to drink the coffee That's again? Point. Warning. Current action could have unforeseen consequences. So that's how the wormhole was made. It was the old mark. I, I, I did it. It's a paradox. I, did it. I finally did it! I beat you! <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh, then you know what else? I forgive you. Oh, all the pain and suffering that you caused, I forgive you! It's all in the past, or the future, or um, uh, that that will never be because I beat you! <laughs> Everyone can finally go and live their infinite lives in peace! Oh, oh. oh no, I feel you, Mark. Uh, my my bag is killing me too. <laughs> or maybe you're I'm just an old man. You don't get to destroy the universe. All that matters is that you will no longer put the universe in imminent peril. And we've reached the credits. Those credits. Why are you aware of the credits? <laughs> that can't be good. Paradox detected. Uh, yeah, I know. That's why we're here. This is why you here. I thought I muted this thing. Wouldn't shut up about paradoxes! Warning. Universal stability compromised. Attempting to resolve. Probably just tying up some loose ends. Cody and Ryan did a fucking amazing job with the other team. No, 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 no. What have you done? I do. I just saved the universe from the captain's rampage of destruction. And apparently from you too, whoever you are. Error. Unable to resolve. Paradox detected. You? You did Is that the pirates you? from Heist? You're gonna have to be more Those were the pirates from Heist. Infinite paradox detected. Universal collapse. Imminent. Turn it off. You have to shut it down. You have to. Oh, uh, well, maybe that's not the worst idea in the world. Oh, oh no, no. No, no, you don't get to blow up. I'm the one that blows things up. Oh, you think you're better than me? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Hi, 
work. The beat crushing is fucking great. I really like it. Hi, Tyler. And they went back. They went back to Austin to to film this, like they did with Heist. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I want to see who got scratched in there. Did everyone get scratched? Even Chica, no Chica, no, they scratch Chica. They scratch Chica, no, no Chica. I feel bad. We we might. We might have found the only ending where Chica dies. We might have found the only ending in this where Chica dies on the first fucking try, and I feel horrible about it. Twenty eight days. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, I will stand by. Uh, I will stand by. That was something. That was the ending. Now I have a question. Is there more endings? Usually when Mark makes these things, they have multiple endings. This one didn't say ending 1 out of 7. This is this is weird because this is different from the other things that that he made. Also, the description of the video is universal collapse detected attempting to resolve ETA May 2nd, 2022. May 2nd, 2022? That is in the future. Wait, that is in the future. May 2nd, 2022, that is in two months. Well, one month. Do we? Is this episodic? Do we have to wait? I don't know, Mark. No. Did you make this shit episodic? Let me go back to the first to the first video. Maybe maybe we can find a different ending. Okay. Um seven. Maybe we can find a, a different ending. Uh we are on the first video, we are on the first jump. Okay. First video, first option is uh, we chose putting out the fire. I want to see how different it is if we fix life support. I guessed when we click on the first video, on the first option, I guessed that no matter what was going to happen, we were going to die. And I'm still guessing that, that we have to die anyway, no matter what we choose. Warning. No atmosphere detected within life support. Warning. Oxygen levels dropping to unsafe levels. Oxygen levels rising. We have a fire. If you're adding oxygen to the fire, you're just making the fire worse. Good news, Captain. The momentary lapse in oxygen extinguished the fire on the bridge. Warning, brace for impact. Oh! 
Ganz, 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 ganz. I said the asteroid defense system is fine. How did we not? How did we survive that? Also, I uh, have to go to bed. Uh, Wi-Fi time. Hope you have fun. Love you. Love you, Nea. Have a, have a good night. I will probably end this one here or close-ish to here. Uh, I want to stop and talk uh, uh, about this for, for a bit. Uh, so I, I will end it closer to two hours. But what the fuck did we just see? We can wear these guys or we can wake the crew. Last time we woke the crew, we chose Gunther. Also, we don't have Mark. We chose Gunther and they turned Gunther into, into an old lady. Um, so let's wake Gunther up again and see what happens. We don't have Mark in this one. Initiating wakey wakey protocol for good to be good as a head of asteroid defense system. Hi, Gunther. The B stands for bullet. <laughs> I heard you had a little problem on your hands, Cap. I've been through hundreds of battles, fought through hundreds of traps. You rogue drones ain't gonna get the best of me. Show up. Uh, Gunter? Oh, he's fine. Oh, Cap. Next time, give me a challenge. Hey, you feel that? It's getting kind of cold in here. Alert. Coolant leak in cryo. Uh, that is no good, Captain. Uh, I, I gotta go check on ADS. Good luck with that. Stasis temperatures continue to rise. Manual intervention is required, Captain. Okay, okay, okay. So, so. We know, we know that we have experts on the ship. CC is actually called uh, Celsi F. Kelvina. Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. That is the name of CC, the head of cryostasis, is Celsius F. Kelvina. God fucking damn it, Mark. Fucking fishback. I'm so sorry. I'm ending this one here. Uh, we have... Apparently, we have a whole path without Mark fucking it up because apparently the main problem is Mark. And we have a whole path waking the crew and doing other things. I'm ending this one here. What I can assure you and what I'm going to do now is put on the schedule that we're going to continue this on... Continue this on. Sh shut up, me. Ah, uh, schedule, 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 schedule. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh, okay, so today is Monday. I'm having Wednesday as a day off. So English, Spanish day off. English, Spanish, English. We are continuing this on Saturday. On Saturday, not only we are continuing this. We are also going to do um, Who Kill Markiplier, A Date with Markiplier, and Heist. We're going to do the three, uh, the three previous ones, and then we are going to try and find more endings of this. Because 
I don't know what the hell we just experienced, but I want more of it. So I'm I'm putting it on the schedule right now. Um uh, English uh who killed Markiplier uh a date with Markiplier Heist with Markiplier and more in space uh, space with market i don't know what hour i'm going to the hour might change just keep an eye on the schedule i don't know uh, at what hour i'm going to do it but i can assure you now that i'm going to at least give this at least six hours because I, I feel that we're going to need like six hours. <laughs> um, so six hours on Saturday at 6 p.m. GMT. It is on the schedule. It is on the schedule. It is it is set on stone. Oh, uh, I don't know what we just watch. <laughs> I really don't know what we just watch, but that glitch ending that fucked up engine engine uh, ending was fucking wonderful i i don't know if we reach the bad ending it feels like the bad ending everyone was dead including chica and an ending where chica dies is a bad ending but that was fucking wonderful also i'm really wondering what is going to happen on May the 2nd. We have to remember that day. May the 2nd. Uh, because. I, I'm i screaming at Mark on Twitter right now. I'm screaming at Mark on Twitter right now. Hell. Happens. On. May. 2nd. Twenty twenty two. I don't think Mark is going to answer because Mark is way too big for him to answer. But, but what the fuck? I don't. I hate that I cannot check Tumblr because I follow a lot of Markiplier accounts on Tumblr, and I won't be able to check Tumblr for a week. I won't be able to check Tumblr for a week. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> because I know the fandom. I know the Markiplier fandom. And they are going to, to fucking gut this project to the bone. And there's going to be nothing left for me. And I love surprises. I love being surprised. And this certainly did it. Well, I actually hate surprises if I know they're coming. But if I don't know they're coming, I love surprises. Um. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, let's see who's live and who we can raid. Uh, even if we are only two people in chat right now. Okay, stomach, shut up. I will eat something after this. Uh, Calvi? Calvi is playing Apex. We can go say hi to Calvi. It's also apparently Calvi's birthday? There is a birthday command on the title. Maybe, maybe it is Calvi's birthday. Let's go say hi to Calvi. Uh, the raid message is just a space. Just a space. I was going to say all caps, but maybe not all caps. Just say space like this. And, and that is the raid message. Yeah, thank you for joining me on this <laughs> weird ass adventure. 
Dewey, Nea, and la 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 Goose for coming. Uh, and yeah, let's go say hi to Calvi. Let's scream space. Thank you for the stream and holy shit. I, I I am sorry that the stream is so short, but I have to I have to study tomorrow morning and it's already 1 a.m. for me. So yeah, I cannot afford uh <laughs> I cannot afford for a month until the until May 6th. I think I cannot afford to stream for longer than two hours except on weekends. So on the weekend, you can bet we are going ham on this. Uh, but yeah, until then, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next stream and on Calvi's uh, stream right now with the raid. So see ya.